Hi guys. So let's start today's video with some of the products that a very hot brand sent to me. Um, Good Molecules sent me some products. They sent me four products from what I know because I had them send them to my box in the States and then I paid a very, very expensive, hefty shipping fee. Um, I think it was $75 to send these products to myself. So it's not about them being free. I don't need anything free. I can purchase whatever I want within my living budget. But I just thought it was sweet that they reached out to me. And my husband was having his degree sent to him from the States anyway. So he had to mail his a copy of his degree. And so when he did that, I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and ship the products to myself as well. I cannot wait to try out the products because as you know, your girl's going through some skin stuff. We're going through some skin stuff, but that's okay. Life is life. We're all lifing. We publish a nothing to hide ingredient list on the side of each box. So you know exactly how much of each we use. I'm excited for you to try Good Molecules and see a difference in your skin. Tag us when you do. Good Molecules. Enjoy. Nils, who is the co-founder. And his signature is there. So that's wonderful. A little, a little note um, telling me about the brand. And basically, it's a brand that's just very transparent. So I'm excited whenever I can get noticed by a brand that is of quality, and that wants me to try their products. That's always gonna be a great thing about being in this business. But am I in this business anymore? I guess I am, but yeah, so I wanted to share that with you. All right, let's go through them. So the first one I am super excited about because I see this product on TikTok all of the time. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Now, if you know, you know, that niacinamide is in everything. It's in moisturizers, it's in serums, it's in lotions, it's in everything. I never heard about this because I'm not a skin guru, but I never heard about this until like a couple years ago. But this is the brightening toner and it says it's formulated with niacinamide, arbutin, and licorice root extract. It's supposed to brighten and improve the appearance of large pores. And I do have some large pores around my cheek as I get older. Um, pores are a thing, so I'm excited to try that. Next we have the Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. And this is formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant-derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. So this is good, silicone free. Um, I don't know, is silicone a thing? Does silicone do something bad to our skin? Not a skin guru, but I know some people don't like silicones, so this will be a good product to use as well. I have lots of moisturizers now since I've been going through and, you know, the next product I am really excited about because this one is really popular and people say that it is that it has helped them. And this is the discoloration correcting serum. And this improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. And I have lots of hyperpigmentation around the perimeter of my face. I mean, lots. I don't I don't want to cry, so I'm not even going to talk about it. But um, this is the discoloration correcting serum. And like I said, it's really popular. So I'm excited to try this as well. And the last product we have here is the overnight exfoliating treatment formulated with AHA plus BHA to help resurface and renew skin. So I know with this one, if I use this one, I'm not going to be able to use my Trentinoin on the nights that I use this, because if I'm not mistaken, you cannot mix AHA and BHA with Trentinoin, but I'll make sure I do my research because I always research everything. 
So I'll do my research, but I'm definitely going to use this on the alternate nights where I'm not using um, my other treatments. Thank you so much to Good Molecules for sending me these products. I cannot wait to try them out. And of course, whenever I do my skin update, I will let you guys know what I'm using, what's helping, what's not helping, and where I'm at as I go through this process. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> now, what do I want to talk about? Oh, I know what I want to talk about. I'm working on a reel right now for Instagram because I haven't been on Instagram in a couple days because, child, I've just been like taking a break. I've been taking a break, but I haven't been doing anything. I've been chilling around the house. I've been running my little errands, um, but I haven't really been doing anything, but I haven't really been updating social media or really getting much work done. Sometimes it's like that for me. I love that I have the luxury of being able to chill and relax whenever I want to. I love that my husband gave me that luxury. And I did a video all about this, how two is better than one. It's nice when you get to my age because honey, you get tired. When you get my age, you get tired, you know? And it's not like I'm super old, but yeah, I'm old. <laughs> so I, I can't run around like I could when I was in my twenties. Like, I'm out of my 20s. When I Once I got out of my 20s, I was old. You know, that's me. <laughs> and so I just, I love being able to just be home, chill, relax, work on my projects, take a break, all that. But I got to get back to work because I'm passionate about what I do on all of my platforms. And so that's why I do what I do out of passion. So I went to this little store that I go to in Kuwait. What's a big store? Called City Star. And I guess City Star can be described as like a discount store. You know, they, they sell Korean items and different cheapy items like makeup brushes and they have all different kinds of cosmetics and perfumes and clothing and houseware stuff. And it's just an amazing place to go. And I like to go ever so often. Well, today I went and I found an Arabian perfume that I wanna share because Arab perfumes are really, really huge. Um, I want to do a video on air perfumes and how it's really big out here. Perfume in general is just big out here. I love it, love it, love it. Everyone smells good. Everywhere you go, they're like spraying you. It's 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 a thing. It's a thing. But I also picked up some other little beauty things because I have so many things to show you, like I've said, but I actually need to sit down and like record. So I picked up these little cosmetic sponges. I'm excited to see these in City Star. And if I like them, I just got one pack because I'm going to try them out and see if I like them. You know, these are on Amazon. I'll link uh, the ones that I got on Amazon as well because I got mine from Amazon. I love these little triangular puffs because I use them to apply my powder. I use them to blot. I use them for many different things, powder foundation. And I really love that. They sell these in City Star now in Kuwait. If you live in Kuwait, it's called City Star. And I'm sure they have a couple across the country. But yeah, I found these little triangular puffs. So I'm excited because mine were getting a little rough. What else did I get? I got uh, a mask brush. So this is to apply your mask. And, you know, I know we all can do it with our fingers, but, you know, I think I'm going to get bougie with it. And I'm gonna start using uh, a mask ap applicator. So, you know, because I have nails on right now. So I think it'll be easier to just like use this applicator for my mask. And then it has this little brush at the end. I guess you could use if you wanna exfoliate a bit or um, help you wash the product off. So yeah, I got that. I got some sponges. I took one out already and I put it in my Fenty Cosmetic pack because I always carry my Fenty powder whenever I'm out on date night or running my errands. I always carry the Fenty powder and the sponge was old so I, I threw it out and I got these to replace and also I use these on a daily basis sometimes. Sometimes I use these to apply my powder foundation and then I'll go over it with the brush and kind of just um, spread it out a bit but I love, I love these and you know I used to hate these but I really like these for my situation, what I'm going through with my skin, I find that sponges are great. Now, I know I told you guys that I don't wear strip lashes anymore, and I don't. I get lash extensions sometimes. I haven't had lash extensions in a while. 
or I wear the half lashes, or I have a pair that's like this, which is like um, ooh, individual lashes. So I use those sometimes too, very rarely, because most days either I have no makeup on or I just do a quick routine like I did today. But if the lashes look natural enough and if they're pretty enough, sometimes I'll pick it up just out of habit. I think I just really love lashes, um, natural looking lashes, not those butterfly, drag queen, over the top lashes because no that's not that's not my look <laughs> they have to be flirty kind of simple kind of minimal so i did pick these up because they were one dinar and one dinar in kuwait is like a little over three american dollars so they were super cheap so i picked them up because they're so pretty how pretty are they Ooh, so i just picked them up when will i use them i don't know Picked up some baby powder just because you always need baby powder, right? Um, <clears throat> I picked up these little hair clips because you guys know I'm wearing my hair straight right now. I have not put a flat iron in my hair since I got my hair done. Aren't you proud of me? So I already know that she used a ton of heat when she blew it out to trim my ends and then she flat ironed it, but I have not been putting heat on it. I've kind of just been pinning it up because it's easier to manage that way. So I just been pinning it up. So I, I bought these to like wear around the house. What else? Oh, I got this Real Techniques makeup brush. I mean, I hope it's the real deal. I hope it's like the real thing. I have no way to verify that but it looks like the real thing when i looked it up online and this is one of the brushes that i did want um this is the 231 liquid or cream foundation brush it has the dual concealer brush on the end and you guys i'm trying to update some of my brushes because they're so old and I like this because it's not your typical flat foundation brush. It has like some girth to it, you know, it's kind of fluffy. And I think this will be good when I'm using it to cover up some of my, my dark hyperpigmentation. And then also this end is the concealer end. Oh, that's to cover it, y'all. I didn't know that that was to cover it because I was like, what is this little loose thing on the end? It's to cover it. Now, they don't have a cover for this side, but there's a cover on this side. Okay, okay. So, Real Technique brushes are just amazing. They really are. So, I got this to update to my large collection of brushes. And do I have anything else? All right. I got this eyebrow knife. Now, I prefer to get my eyebrows threaded. But ever since I've been going through my skin situation, I don't know. I just haven't been up there to get my eyebrows threaded or waxed. I can do either or. I can do threading or I can do wax. Wax is probably going to be a bit more harder on my skin because of some of the chemicals that I'm using. But I use this also now on my mustache. <laughs> and my husband will kill me if he hears me say that because... He does not like shaving, face shaving. I think he's afraid that if you face shave, you will grow a beard or something. <laughs> so I have used it on my mustache though, and I haven't had any problems yet. I usually use Nair. You know, I use Nair to remove the hair from my upper lip, but because of the tretinoin, I stopped using Nair because, you know, it might have a reaction, it might cause burning. And I've been using these little shaving things. I'm very careful. I use an oil. I, you know, go in after and put a little ointment on. And so far it's been okay. So I use these on my brows mostly, but I also use it on my face. And I'm always looking for a good sharp one. So I'm gonna try these out. And, oh, we have another makeup brush. Okay, this I saw and I was like, oh, I love, I love me a powder brush. I love a powder brush. You guys, 
I love a powder brush. It's so soft and it was so inexpensive. So I cannot wait to wash this and give this a go because look how dense it is. Look how wide it is. This is going to be great for powder because I've been wearing powder a lot lately and I foresee me wearing powder a lot during this summer, especially during summer travel. So y'all, so soft, so wonderful. Happy about that. All right. So those are the products that I got in City Star. And now I want to show you the perfume. So I didn't realize that City Star had such an array of options of Arabian perfumes, Arab perfumes. It was amazing. Some were like dupes. That was interesting. Hmm. So there are a lot of dupes of perfumes. I didn't really mess with those. I really just went around looking at the different fragrances that are, you know, local, that are native to the Middle East. And I've also been watching a ton of girlies here on TikTok and YouTube about the different Arab perfumes that they've been picking up. So I picked up one. I got the... Bacar Latafa by Pride of Latafa House. I got their perfume. And I'll show you a clip of the bottle right now because um, I'm going to open it up on Instagram for my Instagram reel. So follow me on Instagram if you're not. But yeah, it comes in this beautiful, beautiful box that I will be unboxing soon. So this perfume reminds me so much of the Givenchy Linterdi. Now, I bought this when I was in Paris, so I've kept the bottle because it's like a memory because it was one of the items that I bought while I was there. And as you can see, I used it all up. I mean, this was my favorite the whole time I was using this before I moved on to another one. And they are very similar. I mean, I wouldn't say a complete dupe like other people have noted. They give off different notes to me sometimes, but it's very, very similar. And I would say this is stronger. So if you're looking for something like a little bit lighter, maybe even a little bit sweeter, I think it would be this one. And if I can find this one online, I'll make sure I link it in the description box. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. I probably will repurchase it again in the future. But this gives me such similar vibes. And so once I take it out the box and I use it, I'll come back and I'll talk about it more. But yeah, I picked this up when I was there because nobody does perfume like Arabs. Nobody. Nobody smells better than them. Nobody knows how to layer it thick like them. I mean, Arabs really love perfume. It is a dominant part of their culture from incense to room fragrance. I mean, it's just a thing out here. And of course, the oud fragrance is really big. And everywhere you go, there's a perfume store. There's a perfume stand. There's somebody out there spraying fragrances. It's just a huge part of the culture here. It's so interesting. I think in one of my older videos, I mentioned how it is such a big part of the culture here. And it took some getting used to, like now I run from them sometimes, like, because they're everywhere. And you know, some days you're just not in the mood to stop, but they're always giving you testers. They're always spraying there. You don't even have to put perfume on before you leave the house because you can go in any store and spray it on yourself <laughs> or you could go past a stand and somebody's there sharing a fragrance with you and it's a huge part of the culture here i love it it's amazing i can't wait to go back and see if they have any of their other air fragrances that i see online that i want to try out all right while I was at City Star, I popped into one of the clothing stores that sells traditional wear, Middle Eastern wear for women, and I picked up an outfit. So I'm going to show you that. And then, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up.
after I left City Star, I went by one of the other stores. It's like in a little strip mall and they have lots of different stores that sell traditional Middle Eastern wear and cheap makeup and jewelry and accessories. It's amazing. And so I got a two piece set. I got this white dress. It came together and it has a little tie here. I don't know how see-through it's going to be, so I have to try it on, but I think this is gonna be amazing for summer. Absolutely amazing for summer, especially for travel. I could throw a button up on with this. I could just wear it alone with a pretty necklace. I think this is gonna be amazing for summertime. So I picked this one up and then the star of the set is the duster. So look at this print. It's sort of giving me zebra vibes, which I normally do not like, but for some reason, when I saw this, it just drew my attention with the gold detail and it's navy blue. I wanted the black one, but when I got over there, there was a lady looking at the black one and of course she bought it, but that's okay. Cause I have a ton of black things in my wardrobe already. And so this, is everything this is going to be great for the summertime with any type of dress underneath it like a white dress or a blue dress it's loose it's flowy it'll protect you from that hot sun and i think i could belt it i think i could wear it just with like i said with jeans or a dress or even shorts this is going to be a summer staple. I just absolutely love it. I love it. So I'm so happy that I came across this particular piece when I was just out and about today. Um, I got it for a great price in one of the little local stores. They're so nice. They're so helpful and there's lots of options. So yeah. I like that. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me for another vlog, talking too much, spending quality time with Kim video. I enjoy creating this content. I love this hobby. This hobby just is full of passion and love and appreciation. And I am so happy to have you all here on my channel. You know, when I used to blog, it was kind of about numbers. I mean, that's how I was able to grow my channel to 50,000 subscribers before I stopped and started, stopped and started, collaborated and did this and made money and all this stuff. And none of that means anything to me now because it's all about passion. And I've grew a lot and changed a lot. But one thing that has not changed is my love for YouTube and my love for you ladies. So thanks to all the old people who have followed me for a decade and thanks to all of my newcomers. I will talk to you later, guys. Bye.